All right, gang, for your kneeling supported hip cars. First and foremost, posture is king here, or I should say maintaining the stack is, is absolutely uh, necessary to get the most out of this drill. All right, so rib cage stack top of pelvis, big breath in, exhale. As you exhale, just let that lower rib cage drop down towards your belt buckle and a slight posterior pelvic tilt. Okay, boom. To let the belt buckle come up towards the rib cage. Now, what I don't want you to do here is um, go excessive with this. And so you see my hand here is touching my head. If I try to like really squeeze my glutes and bring my hip underneath and really try to you know, drive my rib cage down to my belt buckle, I've lost height. Okay, I want to stay nice and tall. And just get into that nice stack position there. And then you got to maintain this throughout the drill. All right, the drill. Grab a, a pad or a robot towel, a yoga block, whatever you want. You're going to place it on the non working leg or the supporting leg, I should say. Two golf clubs, two sticks, two dowels, whatever you got available to you. Nice and wide with the arms. Okay, then from here, get into your stack position. Let's go forward first. We're gonna go into hip flexion, as high as you can go before you have to just start cheating with your pelvis, okay? What I mean by cheating with your pelvis is if I can go to here, which I'm still pretty much tucked and I'm stacked underneath, or my thorax and rib cage, I can go higher, but now I'm starting to pull on my, my pelvis and scooping underneath, and I don't want you to do that. Okay, so here, stack, or up. I'm gonna kick my leg out to the side as far as it'll go, a B duction. Can't go any further unless I could go further, but again, I'm starting to rotate my pelvis now faces the wall over there. I want my pelvis to face you the entire time. So up, out. Now here, I'm gonna take the outside of my right foot, bring it up towards the ceiling. Stay nice and tall, don't lean to the left. I'm gonna want to, but don't, just resist it. From here, I'm gonna push my foot, bomb my foot back towards the wall. You should feel your glute, and then bring it down to the midline of the body. Reverse it. Use the glute, go into hip extension, go as far as you can, again, without shifting your torso. Gonna abduction again, so out to the side, you're gonna feel the outside of the glute there. Now I'm gonna kinda scoop my foot underneath, inside of my foot, and the outside of my knee back towards the wall. I'm still in the hip flexion as much as I can, so I brought my knee up, and I'm gonna bring it back to the midline of the body, and then down. Guys, that is your kneeling supported hip cars.